What's up guys? So, made it to Nairobi, Kenya. I'm gonna show you guys the room. I'm staying at the, what's this place called? Nairobi Safari Club. This me. This is the main area. The TV, cool, cool. Going in here, this is the room. With a full mirror. What is up? What is up? They know your girl was coming through and your girl needs a whole mirror. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the room. Covered space, which I'm not going to be using, I guess. Just a little bit. Ooh, okay, wait. No, let me show you the bathroom before we maybe get to the view. This is the bathroom. Nothing fancy, nothing lancy. Um, okay, now let's see if there's a view sun okay there is a view wow hey hey Nairobi I'm here what's good what is good <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do now I think there's a spa and it's it's free I was like do we have to pay extra for this it's like no it's free I'm like yes let's get it <laughs> Guys, let's discuss the fact that my face is always oily. How? How? So this is her you guys. Her name is Nabila Kareem. She is South African. But can we actually just from her feet already, can we actually just take a second? This fire. How guys? Uh, this is one of my favorite. It's so cool man. While you're at it, go follow your girl. That's me, that's me. Anyone who isn't following me, go follow, man. Go follow. Lego peeps. Lego. Morning, guys. How nice is this mirror? Like, these lights are goals. So, today is the second day. I'm not going to be showing you guys much today because I'm just basically going to be going into meetings. Well, I'm meeting for the whole day. So. I'm about to head to breakfast now. I don't know if I want to film it anymore because I'm going to be late. But let me just take this just in case um, I do end up filming it. Oh, you can see it down there. By the way, these shoes are really uncomfortable because they're size 3 and I'm actually a size 4. But your girl likes things. She had to push it. She had to push swag. So yeah, see you guys later. What up, you guys? So, um... I got, I'm done with my meeting and I'm, I just came back, I came back to the room and I don't really feel, it's lunch time, I don't really feel like eating downstairs, so got some food and then it got brought up for me. And over here for dessert, that's cake, some fruit. I'm eating really unhealthy, I'm not even supposed to be eating sugar, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna spoil myself and just eat whatever because... I've been off sugar, I don't know, yeah, so I've been off sugar, it's really hard, and it's hard, but it's really good for you, so yeah, now I guess I'm allowed to eat some sugar, I'm treating myself to some sugar, <laughs> so yeah, that's my plans for the day, I'm just gonna chill. Hi 
Alright guys, we are going for a walk. This is you. this is Maxud. Hi. Maxud, yeah. where are we going? Is it safe? Down the road. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> How far are we getting? Um into the park. And back. Okay. Is traffic always like this? Yeah. So it's not only that. Is here. Is here. This is the university, yeah, this is guys. It's about open. Okay, okay, okay. They've got three lanes for yeah, the cars, four. four lanes, and that's just for one side. And there's still hectic traffic. We have like what? One lane? We have one lane. Two at most. Two, two exactly. <laughs> two at most. So we don't even move in traffic. But oh well. And they're much cheaper. So what's this area called? This area is we'll heading towards Arboretum. Apparently we're going towards the burbs. The burbs. For those who don't know what the burbs are, it's the suburbs. That's why it's burbs. <laughs> That's such a South African thing to say. <laughs> why would you even say that? Anyway, the burbs. The burbs. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Speak. Speak. When okay, we when we cross the crossroad over there, mm -hmm. we're officially entering into Kireleshwa. Kireleshwa. My hometown, my hood. It's good. Where I came from. This is a matatu. This is like our dollar dollars. Except like more gangster. Clearly. More gangster. Clearly. What up you guys um, so today I just actually I mainly just chilled slept quite late yesterday so I just wanted to chill and I was actually so hacked that I didn't get a bathroom and I actually just called and I was like yo can a girl get a bathroom and I did and I just wanted to tell you guys something you know how like sometimes people have situations and they're like oh I wish I could take pictures but I don't have a photographer no 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 let me tell you, throughout my whole stay here, all the pictures that I've been taking, um, I've been taking them by myself. I use my camera, I put on self-timer, and I literally just take the pictures by myself, like no excuses. Gotta set up your camera, gotta get that good lighting, put it on whatever seconds you feel comfortable with, position yourself, and just take your picture because there's literally no excuses you know you can miss out on some really good pictures and some really like nice experiences you can miss out on capturing some nice experiences just because you said oh there was no one to take the picture for me so yeah just wanted to tell you guys that that all my pictures from this trip are by moi so yeah i hope everyone is having a good day tomorrow is my last day here so hopefully i'll be able to vlog that but for now Chilling. Hopefully there's a movie on TV and gonna watch a movie. And yeah, that's it for me, you guys. Hey guys, morning. So it's the last day here. Going in for one last like meeting, meet up thing. And then we're gonna try and go see, like go places. Hopefully I get footage of that. And then, yeah, we're flying out later on. My flight is at 7. So hopefully that gives me enough time to actually go and explore and stuff. But yeah, I had a really nice time here and I'm not going to lie, I had like doubts about um, Kenya. I remember always telling my boyfriend like, dude, no, Kenya like is a is a no-no for me. But I came here and I'm like, it's actually quite chilled. It gives me like, 
some places gives me like um South African feels, maybe that's why. So I was like, okay, I'll give you a chance, you know. So yeah, it's been cool. <laughs> So we only had time to come to the mall, so now I'm at the mall, it's called the Junction Mall and I guess this is as much as I'm going to see, I got to see Nairobi in like the sides, there's a lot of apartments but yeah, I guess that's all I get to see, sad, I don't have enough time but yeah. I'm officially in love with Kenya. How do you rate it? How do you rate it? Out of 10? Yes. On a scale of 1 to tilapia. On a scale of 1 to tilapia. <laughs> tilapia times 10. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm in love with Kenya. And yeah, I've concluded this is like the perfect spot for bloggers. Like guys, bloggers, photographers, every, anything. Come through to Kenya. Like the places just the photos is like endless. I know I suffer so much with photos and like damn, like when am I gonna go take this photo shoot? But with Kenya, literally they have so many restaurants and little cafes that you can just go to and you have like so many photos. Anyway, I'm so impressed. I'm, I'm like really, really impressed and I think I'll be coming back here soon and getting to see more of it. So I didn't get to see enough. Like I'm just in this little place and I'm already like wow, you know. So yeah, hopefully I get to come back soon and see it, but yeah man Kenya, y'all are doing it, eh? 